getting it back to the slot. Big drive and a great glove save as Helmo is robbed by Igor Bobkov. They'll give it back to Gennon. Pushes it far corner. Holland there. Curls to the half board. So the point. Gennon a drive. Blocked in front. Rebound put on goal and Holland scores. They score with one second left in the Costello penalty. Peter Holland with his 14th of the season. And the Admirals take a 1-0 lead. Riley has a player engaged in the far wing corner. He's talking with Rosehill. The gloves have dropped. They're going to have a little bout here. Rosehill, a legit heavyweight, going with Blair Riley along the far wing boards. Riley has his helmet pulled off. That's a veteran move, by the way, from Rosehill. He doesn't want to punch plastic. Riley trying to do likewise on the Norfolk Tuck guy. Gets that helmet off in close quarters as Rosehill comes in with a couple of rights. Another right. Riley able to deflect that one away. Rose Hill takes a shot, try to come in, miss with an uppercut, connects with a right hook, and takes a couple of little left and right jabs to the face. So Riley coming in, getting that left hand in while Rose Hill trying to come in with some big right hands. He was trying to go for the haymaker, and Riley was able to get a couple of shots in as that was going on. So Landry to Wishart, top of the right circle. 20 left in the two men. Wishart high slot, Wishart wristing one, deflected, rebound, put on goal, they score! And it's Brock Nelson banging it in from the far goal post side. 37 seconds into the middle period, and that ties the game at one. And we just talked about how long it's been since Brock Nelson scored a goal. You have to go all the way back to December. Campbell can't get it clear. Love down now, DeFazio takes it away, racing ahead as a breakaway. Here's DeFazio and a sliding poke check made by Smaby. He's able to make a great recovery to prevent a chance for DeFazio. On the power play for another minute from his blue line ahead, Britton broken up by McGeever. Nelson trying to clear. Back mid again, across the Donovan, down in the near corner. Nelson, sharp angle, try, shores! Big score by Brock Nelson on the power play as he was able to get it under the pads of Igor Bobkov. That's his second power play goal of the night. 40 seconds left in that Pelly penalty is when it came with 13.05 to go in the game, and it's 2-1 Tigers. In turn for Kabanov, can't chip it clear. Left point shot, bouncing on goal, kick save. In the slot, Sexton in front to Britton, and sprawling out is pulling, got a piece of it. As in the slot, it's Helmo. Halmo curling, try to feed it back to the blue line. Britton breaks it up, thrown on goal, deflected in, they score! Halmo was trying to just clear it back, and somehow it deflected back and ended up under the bar, and the Sound Tigers take a 3-1 lead as Niederreiter got the deflection out in front. Well, on a night where you wanted your top line to get something done, they did, all three of the goals coming from them. Meanwhile, a little pass out in front, and Sexton got clipped. Broken up out of the zone. Here's Nelson with a chance for a hat trick. Nelson from the circle shoots. He scores! Brock Nelson wraps it up for the Sound Tigers. A hat trick goal with 45.5 remaining in regulation. And Bridgeport leads the Admirals 4 to 1.